Share the screen. Okay. Okay, and then um, go ahead, Linda, you can start. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Linda Shibano. I'm from the Rotary Club of Upcountry Maui. Uh, welcome. Um, I must um, tell you a little bit about myself uh, before we start. I've been a member of the Rotary Club of Up Upcountry Maui, Maui for about, uh, about 17 years. And I've been secretary for... 16 of those 17 years. Um, I don't, you know, I, I love this job. I don't want to be in any other position. Um, and I don't pretend to um, know everything. Um, I just kind of wing a lot of stuff. So if we can move on, um, can I, or you control it or I control it? You control it. Okay. Okay, so um, how many of you are new secretaries? Do we have a lot of new secretaries here? I'm not a secretary. I'm going to be president, and I have. Uh, I once was the secretary a few years ago. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. And so we have a few new secretaries um, with us. Um, and you know today's um, presentation you might you might feel like there's a lot of things, but um you know as you go through the year uh don't don't hesitate to ask for help um if, if you're not quite sure because we are all here to help you uh and help each other okay so now what what do we do um some of the objectives of today i, I just want to go over a few of the roles and responsibilities that um, a secretary has and then what resources and the resources are really important because you know you can just go and um check out and see okay am i doing this right am i not doing this right what what are deadlines um and that kind of stuff um so as we move on we move on yeah uh disclaimer is um I've been a secretary for so long that um, sometimes, you know, the, the my roles and responsibilities become kind of muddled because um, I, you know, at times work with the treasurer, work with the committee chairs. So sometimes the secretary's role kind of melts into those kinds of committees. So, um, you know, uh, that's my disclaimer for this this presentation. <laughs> Um, my agenda for today, some of the reporting that needs to be done, uh, what minutes need to be taken, what, you know, where can you do your communication or what kind of communications are important, uh, club records and, you know, some resources and references that you can, uh, kind of, um, a tap to, to check to see, you know, if you're on the right track. Okay. Okay. Uh, reporting. These are some of the most important reporting parts of your, your job as secretary. Attendance, most definitely. Uh, keeping up with membership. Uh, who's staying? Who's not staying? Um, new members. And uh, Nomi will go over um, different types of membership in, in just a bit. Um, and along with membership the semi-annual report, uh, officers and chairs by January 31st for incoming officers. And I, I must admit, okay, so for Rotary Club of Upcountry up Maui, we have, you know, our secretary, treasurer, um, president-elect, those, those uh, offices are all filled. We still are working on our uh, service, pro uh, you know, service leads, um, and that that that'll come. Uh, any club information changes in meetings, daytime. You know, with uh, this pandemic, some clubs have changed their uh, locations and meeting times, and uh, some do roving, some do maybe um, one once a month social or that kind of stuff. So um, just just basic club information that you can get out, you know. 
uh, to the, your members. Uh, Naomi, if there's anything else, please interrupt now. Okay. Um, you know, it's really important to put that in for the location because, you know, you've always heard that uh, with your pin, you can go anywhere in the world and be welcomed into clubs, right? So uh, if you have visitors that are in your area and they want to visit, they, they're going to check out your website. So it, it's really good if you put that club information on where you're meeting and if you're going to have a meeting or not, because um, right now, not everyone is meeting every week. So we talked about um, the membership and keeping your roster up to date. The, um, your bylaws say what kind of membership um, and what the dues are and uh, what the, the terms are of membership. But actually, there are only two types of membership categories. It's active yeah, and honorary. That's it. Okay, so when, when you look at active, though, you've got so many different types of active. It could be an associate. An associate is they're not on your roster. Okay, so they're just called an associate, but there are no dues, no benefits. They cannot vote. Uh, but these are maybe people who are thinking about joining or they want to they want to be with you, but they don't they don't want to really join. You can make them as an associate. <laughs> corporate membership which is getting more popular right now and that's where um, a company will say okay we're gonna send people and they can alternate um, attending so it could be you know one person one day and another next day because uh, maybe their their um, schedules don't allow them to go to every a meeting every time or maybe it could be that they don't want to pay for 10 memberships and one thing great about corporate memberships is you know if somebody leaves so say you've got the branch manager of your bank and when that person gets transferred you want that next person to be your member right so corporate membership will say okay you're you're taking over this person's place now now you're an automatic member <laughs> Um, but you know, hey, by the way, if somebody's a banker, it doesn't mean that they're going to make a good treasurer. <laughs> so, anyway, or secretary. Um, and then their family membership. So some um, clubs will say, okay, if you've got a husband, wife, or family members, we'll make the dues structure a little bit less, and then they're um, a family member. So you can make um, a young professionals, maybe up to age 35 with lower dues. Uh, you can make these other categories, but you wanna make sure that you have it in your bylaws so that you're consistent in carrying out that, um, that, uh, that category, okay? So that's for, oh, an honorary. Honorary actually is for one year. You should be renewing it. And honorary, it comes with a um, magazine, the Rotary magazine, which is $12 a year. If you don't want the magazine, then that is optional. So you, you don't have to get that honorary um, magazine. Okay, so let's go to the next one, Linda. Okay, uh, for, uh, we, we talked about reporting, um, membership, as well as uh, attendance. These are some of the sites and um, at the end of this presentation, um, Naomi will go over some training that is happening soon. So um, my Rotary is the Rotary International uh, website, the District 5000 website, and uh, your own uh, club website. So these are areas that you can report or, I mean, like uh, Naomi said, you know, where are you meeting? What time are you meeting? If the meeting, you know, date has changed, this is where you would put it on in your you know website. Okay. On the Rotary International website, there's this thing called membership leads. So when you go to Rotary International and somebody clicks on that join or I want information, it goes to this thing called member leads, membership leads. And so I wanted to let you know what you guys need to do on your end. So what happens is somebody clicks that join and then they put in their information. They say, uh, you know, what area, what time, what club they're looking for. And then that lead will go to the district, okay? And the district will, de will talk to them or decide, you know, we're just gonna send it to, if they're looking for Wahiwa and you're the only club in Wahiwa, we might just send it to Wahiwa and ask you to follow up on it. So what we would do on the district side is say, we're going to assign it to Wahiwa or whatever club. And then now it's going to show on your website. So you need to go um, to Rotary International, to uh, my Rotary, and then cl click on um, club administration. Yeah. 
and then you're going to view leads yeah and then you're going to find out all of the leads that are assigned to your club okay so it's really important to keep this up to date because it, this is being tracked by rotary international so you're going to put your um, status you talk to them they're interested maybe they're not a good fit you want to send it back to district and have it reassigned to somebody else um, this is where you would put in this information on um, the 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 status okay when you admit this person you need to admit them through this page because they're already assigned a rotary international number Okay, so if you go and you add them on yourself in Club Runner or on Rotary, they're going to have two numbers, and then we're going to have to call a Rotary International to merge the two. So when you go here, there's going to a place where you it'll say that you want to add that person. Okay, so just remember, if your club gets a lead, a membership lead, you need to update it on your side, and you need to keep... Um, keep track of that lead and hopefully you can admit them as soon as possible and they already have a number and their information is in the system already. Okay, Linda? Um, this is a template of um, um, a sign-in sheet, you know, when we were meeting face-to-face -face and hopefully, um, you know, we can come back to that face-to-face -face meeting uh, instead of Zooming all the time or, you know, be a, kind of multi-track kind of meeting. Um, I, I found this to be very um, helpful in that not only do they initial or sign in, uh, but they also list um, any kind of makeups. If they went to a, another club's meeting or they participated in a highway cleanup, let's say, um, at least I have, um, you know, some sort of uh, record of them participating in another, you know, in, in some kind of service activity or a makeup activity. Uh, let me see. The bottom, uh, the, if the bottom right hand side, there's a, a there's a sign in area for guests and uh, email or phone number. And we found that very helpful in that um, our membership chair would follow up um, on any of the guests that came and invite them to another meeting or, you know, welcome them, uh, you know, back to another one if, if they, they were interested and, you know, give them some information about the club. So that's a, one way of um, trying to get new members because it, we, ha we noticed that we had a lot of um, people joining our face-to-face -face meeting as they search for a club which was a good fit for them. So this, you know, th this is one way you can follow up. Uh, don't forget uh, to input your membership by the 15th of the following month. Um, uh, in Club Runner, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, you know, being a teacher for 40 some odd years, uh, you know, I just love paperwork and I like forms. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just one of those things, uh, uh, being an educator. So uh, another form that I kind of um, filled out, the top one, um, I, I wanted members uh, leads, uh, say, for instance, a highway cleanup lead. If I wasn't going to be there, um, I'd like that lead to let me know who participated. And then I can input them with um, makeup time. And... Uh, and, and then to the front list, I used to keep a spreadsheet. Oh, I just love spreadsheets. I was telling Naomi, oh, gosh, give me a spreadsheet and I'll be so excited. But um, I kind of list um, all of the activities that we, you know, participate in. So I can visually see uh, who's participating, who's not. And then we can see, okay, maybe most of the club members don't like to, you know, do highway cleanup nobody shows up maybe that's so maybe that's a message to us um a board uh, the board members to say maybe that's not something we want to do maybe we want to do something some some other kind of service project so it, it tells it tells me you know collecting data tells us a story and uh, kind of leads us on a path to, you know where where we want to go next and uh, you know the next so this is a really good way for engagement, making sure you're you're checking up on who's engaged with the, the mm -hmm. club. 
um, because if they're not engaged and they're on the bent on the fence on leaving the club, this is very telling on whether they're participating or not. Mm-hmm. And some people they, they don't want to participate in projects they don't want to do hands-on but they they want the fellowship at meetings or they just want to contribute to something so Mm -hmm. it's whatever you know is going to work for them Mm -hmm. that they're getting something out of the club that's their uh, value proposition Mm -hmm. Um, but just know everybody that the uh, attendance taking is not required by the district Mm -hmm. or rotary international so this is up to you if you want to do this but it's a Mm -hmm. great way to keep track of people Yes, I, you know, I find that, um, especially when it comes to this sem- semi-annual report, and I was telling Naomi, you know, this thing just, I mean, a month before the due date of December 31st or June 30th, I um, talked to my uh, president and my membership chair to the point of uh, nagging um, because I want our list to be perfect by by the due date if not you're going to pay for all these extra members that have decided to quit the club if you know if we don't uh talk to them either face to face or phone or you know uh and and taking attendance helps us to see wow linda's not so engaged in any of our activities i wonder if she's going to hang on next year and if she is, you know, what kind of projects would she, would she be interested in? And um, again, engagement, communication, uh, our president and our membership chair will call them up. Um, I, I call up a few of the members that I'm close to and, and, you know, to find out exactly, are they, are you thinking of staying? Are you thinking of going? We'd like you to stay if you, if, you know, so, but I see that you're not participating in too many activities. What what kind of activities really turn you on and, and you'd like to see our club, you know, get involved in? And, and this is a good way to um, uh, create some change in your club, too. And, you know, add some pizzazz, especially the younger ones, you know. They always have some great ideas as to what we can, you know, get ourselves involved with. Okay. Okay, so um, you get this uh, invoice from Rotary International, it gets emailed to the mm-hmm. secretary and the treasurer and president. And if um, uh, the, the, um, the amounts that you're being charged on January 1st and December 31st, well, let's see, is January 1st and July 1st um, July is on your, um, on your roster. So you wanna make sure you clean it up before that. Um, and Linda said, if you do it, like clean it up 15 days before the end of the month it's the best thing to do because sometimes you know time difference is not going to get there in time Mm -hmm. and you're going to be charged for someone who's on that list at that on those dates and so uh, just know that the july 1st um, bill is going to be a little larger than the january one because it has um, annual charges on the july uh, one so if you ever need to go find this you go to club administration on um, rotary.org or myrotary.org um, go to um, uh, manage, and then this drop-down menu would come down. You go to club administration, and then you can find your dues invoice. And you have a detail, too, on who you're being charged for. Mm-hmm. Um, so just make sure that you you try and uh, clean it up um, like by um, June 15th. So sending out your invoice ahead of time is, is a really good thing. But your membership committee should be talking to people you haven't seen and see if they're going to continue or not. Uh Um, Uh Hey, you know, for attendance, you guys know about this rule of 85. I think um, in the newsletter, they called it senior active. So Uh I I think the older clubs call it senior active, but it's rule of 85, which is if your um, years of service and and, um, age is 85 years and you've been in Rhodey for 20 years, then you're exempt. 20 years, you're exempt from attending um, meetings. And for attending, if you ha- if you count makeups, makeups can be in within the whole year before it used to be two, two weeks before and after the meeting. It's now if you can make it up within the whole year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, um, th- those that semi semi annual report. I always I always think, you know, it, it takes so much to make a dollar 
in our uh, you know fundraising effort that um, each dollar that we lose is that much, you know we have to work that much harder so yeah um, make sure you um, send in your report uh, make sure your membership roster is clean um, and you know I have to tell you that oh I want to say about 10 years ago I reported I reported our membership about, oh, I want to say like December 27th, and they didn't get it. Uh, there was some sort of glitch in the email, you know, I mean, the, the website. So it kind of kicked us off and we were charged extra. So I called and I, I you know, I had a verification that um, I sent, you know, sent it out. So, uh you know, all of, it, it was changed. But then uh, the earlier you send it out, the earlier you can check to see if everything is okay. Uh, they got it, uh, you know, and you're going to be charged the right amount. Okay. Um, another important um, uh, role of a, a, the secretary are a minutes. And minutes are important because it keeps a record of where your club is going, where your club is, yeah, is going, what the focus is, what decisions have been made. Uh, in within minutes, um, or, or well, four minutes, our club assembly minutes are very important. Uh, board meetings, any meetings with our district governor or AG visits, and committee meetings. If you are part of the committee and or are invited specifically to help take minutes, um, it it could be not you know you're not invited or you're not on any committee a specific committee, but. Um, uh, it, this is good to good good to um, you know keep minutes of so I at least the committee's a committee has a record of what's going on. Okay. And speaking of me meetings and minutes, um, there is an annual meeting if you check your documents your uh, bylaws constitution. There's an annual meeting that you should have, and at this annual meeting, your your treasurer is going to get a give a financial report, and this is where you're electing your officers, your board. And so your president uh, elect for 18 months away will be elected at that point. So um, remember to keep your annual meetings and to get the minutes. And minutes. <laughs> no, no, Naomi made fun of me because, um, uh, I, you know, I have a template for everything. Um, but uh, this is a template that I have, um, I, you know, that I take out for every every uh, meeting that I take minutes for. It has a type of meeting, so I put down whether it's a board meeting or a club assembly or whatever the date, the time that we started our meeting, and very important, the attendance. Who attended the meeting? Again, these meetings can be used for makeups also yeah. for those people who need it. Um, within this, uh, I want to say when I. A couple of years after I became a first time uh, secretary, I, I had a president that um, had a, a, you know, board meetings um, and, a, a, you know, a club assemblies and started off here with this, you know, this part of the agenda and then went all over the place. And it's really hard to take minutes if, if a president you know, decides to go from here to here to here to here to here. So um, I always ask my president for, um, uh, yes, I will. Um, I always ask our president for an agenda so I can help her or him, you know, keep in, you know, keep order within the meeting. So if they kind of start going off in one direction, I can pull them back in and say, hey, let's finish this up and, you know, move on. Um, I record bullet points for the discussion. It's not necessary to have word for word for word um, what's going on in the in um, the meeting. And then um, the action part. Again, this was basically for me, but I find that it's, it's re it really helps our president and our, and our you know, whoever attends Who's responsible? Okay, what action? Do we need to um, meet? Who's going to call the meeting? Uh, do we need to purchase something? Who's going to purchase that? By when? So at least it gives us, you know, the board or committee chair or the president 
um, an idea, they can just look at that column and say, okay, Linda's going to pick up the dictionaries and deliver it to Naomi by this date. And that's it. You know, you don't have to worry about it. I put um, whoever's responsible in red. It, again, that's the teacher in me. It kind of, it, and red and bold, it kind of, you know, um, comes up, out at you. So you don't, you know, you, you don't forget. But um, this is a good way, um, you know, to take minutes and then I save it as, you know, board meeting on uh, March 20th or something. Yeah. And so I have that all in a folder um, on my computer for the presidential year 21-22. And and those folders are really important because that's the the history of what's uh, what happened. So mm -hmm. you could have five years worth of um, records for your grants and for your minutes and for all of your documents. So um, so Linda's going to share all of these templates, but you don't have to um, do it this way. You can mm -hmm. do it um, a, a different way. So yes, I, was, I was joking with Linda that I can tell she's a, a teacher because this is the kind of format they use in the schools and for in business, we kind of shrink it down so it all fits on one page. <laughs> uh, and uh, once again, you know, area, uh, places you, you do your communication website, if you're assigned, if you know how, if not, you know, your webmaster, you can give your webmaster the information. Uh, newsletter, I know uh, Rotary 5000 has a district newsletter that uh, our president sometimes inputs things, uh, new member inquiries, uh, club information, any kind of club records and, you know, archival kinds of stuff. Again, okay. Um, I'm a visual type person. So when I first joined Rotary, I couldn't understand where everybody belonged. And I'm that type A kind of person that I need to see where you know where we all belong kind of so um i i devised a uh an org chart similar to business uh where i know where the service projects fit where you know who's in charge of what um who i can call um you know for whatever service project or polio project or whatnot it, it just gives a visual record and you know you don't have to do this, but I I kind of I like to do this especially because um, it organizes me in my mind where you know where I need to go, how I organize my folders, all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, this is a this is one of those gray area that I, areas that I was talking about earlier. Um, communications uh, every time uh, we get a new mit member or a member leaves us, um, I update uh, our membership roster. You can get your membership roster off of Club um, Club Runner, but I find this, you know, I, I just put it on my phone and it's right that there for, for me, everybody right there. And um, so, you know, it's easy for me to contact people uh, spur of the moment, their addresses, their work addresses. And um, every time, oh, let me see, twice a year at least, I send this out for review for, for our members and ask them to update, you know, if they change um, jobs, if they changed addresses, their business addresses may have changed, uh, some cell phones have changed, um, emails. So uh, again, just to keep us updated so we can get hold of people right away. This is a repeat. Okay. So other other duties, um, the maintain the club records, as, as Naomi said, uh, yeah, we need to keep our records for seven years. I oh five years. Five taxes is seven, yeah. Five it's <laughs> five, five years. Five. Okay, five years, at least five years. Um you may be ordering supplies for new members, your new member packets, folders, pins, uh, or what, you know, 
um, flags, that kind of thing. And whenever your uh, district governor visits, um, assisting with that, getting you know the information out to members, uh, seeing whatever they need in the way, form of um, PowerPoint kind of um, you know a screen or that kind of thing. Uh, anything else? No, I so, think that you know somebody asked me what is a new member packet, and so if you're brand new, you might not know what the packet is. Oh. So you Okay. Talk about that. Uh, well, a new member packet you can order via uh, Hampton or well, I think Hampton, yeah. And um, in that packet, there it you know there's a pin, there is the four way test, there is um, also some information about what is Rotary, uh, and it's a it's a nice it's a nice packet to a folder to give to new members and you can add in there your bylaws your actual club bylaws uh some other information about you know service projects that we do that kind of thing uh and uh, as a as a new member this really helps uh see the bigger picture of the club as well as uh rotary international and there's a question in there in the chat about how many members oh. in your club in my club, mm -hmm. uh, in my club, I think there are twenty nine at the moment. Okay, so uh, not that you know, it's not a big club, but we're an active club. Okay, some resources, and you know, uh, one of the best resources is your last year's club secretary, and that secretary can help you, uh, guide you at the beginning. For you new secretaries uh the district your district secretary is a great big help assistant governor the committee chairs can help you also uh there are three websites that um have a lot of information we we're talking about earlier so you can access those you know any one of those three websites Some other references, the club bylaws, that's something that you really need to uh, read so you know exactly what it says. Um, RI and district websites, we just talked about that. Secretary's handbook. Uh, Naomi, I think you're going to send out that packet. Secretary's packet. Okay, I can. The handbook. Yeah. Are, are, no, are we sending that online? It's online. Oh, it's online. Okay. Uh, the Russell Hampton catalog um, and the Council on Legislative Updates. You want to explain the, that Council on Legislation? Um, that one, I, you know, I'm not really sure how it works, but I know I get uh, safety and insurance updates from them all the time. Okay, so the Council on Legislation is um, a, a group of representatives that will look at the policies. And so if your club wanted to change um, something, they would um, uh, send it to a representative from the district and then uh, submit it to the Council on Legislation. They meet every three years and then they go over these policies. So, you know, the things that are in your constitution bylaws, if there are um, things that need to be changed because it's policy, uh, you can submit that to the rep. So this year's rep for the district is Wynne Shoneman. But go through your AG um, and then it gets up to the district governor. Okay, and um, there's a question from Kim. Where's the secretary handbook? It's it's in is Rotary International, but a lot of the paper hand, handbooks and manuals are going to the learning center because uh, a lot of people feel that it's easier to go to the online learning center and do okay. it at your um, at your leisure. Okay, so um, question from Laura: How do you get the member roster through Club Runner? You go to download member data. I can show you how to do that. Uh, in a little bit, but um, uh, it, it is all electronic and you can just download it to Excel and manipulate the information. Mm -hmm. yourself. 
Okay, so on the district website, we do have a calendar. So the district calendar, if you go to this president officer resource page, um, you'll find um, the district calendar for the whole year and next year. So you can find out what those um, dates are. So this is the link if you wanted to just go straight to that page. But also here, we have the webinar recording. So the recording of this session will be there as well as um, the templates and this uh, PowerPoint. Okay, so um, upcoming club runner training. So in club runner, there's a, um, in the new club runner, it, it has on that next page, um, a list of all of the training. So you can go to these live training or recorded trainings on club runner. And so the ones coming up for April here, uh, club runner essentials, um, how to log in, uh, website, if you, you're doing the website, how to design your website. Okay, so they have a lot of um, resources on the Club Runner uh, website. Okay, so how many people have their Club Runner on your phone? Uh -uh. Oh, okay, uh -uh. <laughs> this is so cool. Go to the App Store and, and download the Club Runner um, app to your phone because here at your fingertips are going to be um, so much information like... Um, phone numbers and there's a text so you can text some someone some something like um hey we're in the back of the building or you know, you will come to <laughs> me right now so uh you find a directory when they join um who their spouse is or whatever information that's in club runner is in that that app so uh, let's go to a couple of questions and then i'll go online any questions Yes, Kim. No? No questions? Okay, so before I go to the, um, the website, hey, Laura, you're president of your club. How important <laughs> is that secretary to the operations or um, the uh, administration of the club? I, I, I was president of my club. I was also secretary of my club. And I have to tell you, in my opinion, the secretary can uh, either help make or break a president's year. You can be so invaluable because every president is different and they have different skills and they have uh, different needs that they sometimes don't even know about. So that you can really <laughs> fill in the gaps, you know, kind of like running along. But I, Naomi was my, when I was a uh, district governor, Naomi was my district secretary. And I said, I likened it to the fact that I would walk along and drop things and she would walk along with a basket behind me and pick them up. <laughs> and so that's kind of what the secretary does. Uh, you give the president information and the minutes of those meetings, I cannot stress enough how mm -hmm. critical that is because you don't need them until you need them. And then when you need them, you need them desperately. <laughs> so please, please, you know, whatever you can do, but mostly just help. <laughs> yep. But the secretary is so critical to the running of the club and, you know, keeping everybody together with the calendars and reminders and mm -hmm. agendas, you know, agendas are really important to keep to the subject and the time that you have um, available. So here is the club runner website. So after you log in, you're going to get to this uh, page. And so everyone who uh, is in the system will get to, um, will have a, a login uh, password. So the, all they have to do is forgot my password and then they can get that. But you're going to administration and then to download the um, your roster, it's this thing called download member data. Mm -hmm. So this one is a district website. So you're going to do it on your club. Um, um, okay, so maybe I should go to the club instead. Okay, so our website is uh, West Honolulu Rotary. Okay, so I'm going to log in. And then you're looking for that download data. So go to administration, and then you're going to um, download member data right here. Okay, and then all of the fields that um, are in the Club Runner are here. So if you want a spreadsheet of, say, just the names, um, their club position, email, phone numbers, you click off the ones that you want, uh -huh. okay? and then you you 
generate that um, that uh, report, and then you will get it in a Excel spreadsheet. So you save it as an Excel or a CVS. So here we have all of the fields that um, I picked off will be here in a spreadsheet. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else on the website. Um, you know, when you're adding members, um, I'm sorry, when you're adding members, okay, um, you can transfer a member and keep, uh, preserve their um, ID. You want to preserve their ID so all of the Paul Harris uh, information comes with them. Um, if you need to um, add your officers, so you're going to do your define um, officers. Um, and where is it? Yeah, so I'm usually on the district website. So when you go to <laughs> define officers, <laughs> here, right here, edit yeah. executives and directors. Right. Okay, so this is this year, this is next year. Okay, and this is the following year. So you just know that if this carry over next year is bright blue, then you need to carry over the positions because otherwise you're gonna have to input them all. See over here? So you can click that and all of the uh, carry over to the next year. Otherwise you're gonna to need to input everything. Okay, so if you haven't put in your, um, your board yet, please put them in. It's really easy, just edit and put in the names. Okay, um, uh, what else do you wanna see on this website? I think, okay, do you wanna to go to the, the Rotary International website? Anything I can show you on the websites? Oh, we're good? Okay, so we've got um, two minutes left. What questions do you have about um, your position? Yeah. <laughs> no questions? Oh, Gabriel, go ahead. I know, I mean, so I have a quick question in regards to like, I guess, as being a secretary, but also um, product club runner. Uh, so say, for example, if we're trying to do like a visitation international, uh, a member visiting from Australia, wherever, um, would it be best advised to contact their secretary as well and trying to make sure everything is a great first, first impression experience in here in Hawaii? Um, okay. What are your thoughts? So I mean, it would be good, but it's going to be really hard to get a hold of that secretary in another country or even another state. So if they're I'm just visiting, you know, or I have that my, uh, so if I they're just visiting, it, it might be just anyway, uh, you can just yeah, the the door, the light picture, so my, uh, okay. Let's let's mute Rob. <laughs> so because <laughs> uh, I think he wasn't talking to us, <laughs> but um. If, if the person was transferring to your club, then you would need to check with the other club and make sure that they're in good standing, that they paid mm -hmm. their dues. Because anyone who doesn't pay their dues is not in good standing and you shouldn't be uh, uh, admitting to, to your club. But just mm -hmm. for visiting, it's not necessary to reach them. And if you need to find someone on the club runner within our district, you can go to member search and find that person and, mm -hmm. and you can email them. Okay, if you want to go to find something, someone internationally, go to the Rotary International website and do the um, search button and you can find people, you can send people emails. Kim. Hi, thanks. Um, so we have a really great previous secretary who kept all of our um, records and if you know him, um, it's hard to learn from him. But uh, he also, so they also keep, information in Google Docs. Do you recommend to just keep everything in Club Runner because then I get confused because I'm like, is this in Club Runner or is this in Rotary International or is it, you know, so there's all different areas and I was just wondering what's the standard? Um, I get the reason for Google Docs if there's certain things like the templates for, you know, meetings or things like that, but um, it gets confusing as a new secretary on where to go and what's stored mm -hmm. and what is the what are the rules for the district um, on how you keep how you manage your documentation. 
Well, the, for the district, the only ones that we're really concerned about are your grant documents, which are uh, it's a five years worth of documents. If you have club runner for your club, there is a place for documents that you can store. It's unlimited storage. And as long as you have club runner, it's there. Yeah. And it's all in one place. Google mm -hmm. Docs, sometimes it's hard for people to get into Google Docs. And mm -hmm. so, so sometimes yes. you might not want to put it, you might want to put it in two places. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, the Club Runner uh, document storage is, is a great place to put stuff. Okay, so this so the rule of thumb then would be to pretty much runner. maintain all of your documents in Club Runner. Yeah, for the and, most part. I yeah, see them they're like smiling and smirking. Hard copy too. Grant documents documents need to be hard copy and online. But mm -hmm. you know, it's easier to refer to something if it's in uh, if you have a hard copy too. So the district, um, you're not storing anything on the district or Rotary International's website. It's all on your club website. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, other questions? No. Tim, you had a question? No? Hey, Tim, you've been a secretary a long time. You got any good advice? Oh, what would be the good advice? Yeah, I mean, I just follow formats that, that I've been using over the years. And yeah, helping the president to stay organized mm -hmm. in their meetings with the agenda and the format. Um, I think sometimes I'm a noisy gong where I'll be like, whoa, whoa, wait a second. <laughs> we skip <laughs> this or what about that? Or, you know, so... Um, having a good working relationship with the uh, with the president, I think, is is really important, mm -hmm. so that it never comes across disrespectfully. But that I mean, as secretary, you are responsible for the official records of your club. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's yeah. it can be fun. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be a little mahoy too, because you need to know what's going on. You got to let people know what's going, what, right. what's happening. So. Mm -hmm. um, We've got the next uh, session for treasures coming up in a few minutes. You can take a break right now, but thank you, Linda. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. For coming. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Everything's going to be on the website, so you can always refer to the templates on this uh, PowerPoint as well. Naomi, is there a, uh, did we get the login information for the next meeting? If you're a treasurer, you're staying on this one. If you're going to the other one for a club trainer, um, go to the district website and the link is in, in the district website in the calendar. Well, the, that I'm going to be a president, should I sit in on the treasurer because I've never had any treasurer.